Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play Civilization 6 as Indonesia series. Last episode, we were working on... Well, I gotta deal with that apostle. Last episode, we were working on converting Teddy over to our religion. We're gonna need more religious units in this area before that is possible. There is a lot of religious pressure for Catholicism... Or what is this? Eastern Orthodoxy, never mind, coming from this direction. Eastern Orthodoxy, Eastern Orthodoxy, blah, so hard to say, uh, is the religion of Spain over here, and it is pretty strong in the area. I've got my religion encroaching upon it over here, and I am working on spreading my religion down here to the south in Phoenicia. So we should be working on that as well. Also, last episode, we just continued expanding and building up our empire. And hopefully we can continue moving in that direction this episode. I am going to be moving Moksha probably from Badung over here to Tubin. And I will send... Magnus over here to Jakarta and hope that we can start sending settlers to fill this in from this city over here. Other than that, we've just been building holy sites. We've got two wonders building. I hope I can get them, especially this one. I want, I really, 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 really want this plus 20% faith from Jombi because Jombi is making 33 faith a turn it's my second highest faith city besides Badung, and I can't build this in Badung. And a 33%, uh, a th what is it, 20%? A 20% increase on this would get me over, would get me pretty well. Pretty, producing faith pretty well. Unfortunately, it seems like I lost out on the Kilwa. I, it's not too bad, because I really didn't expect to be able to get the Kilwa. But it does suck, because I did spend time on it. But we can always salvage that time. Uh, we did get a ton of production out of that, which is the more important thing. Please get up on land. And we are also just down here absolutely murdering uh, Jude uh, Jewish apostles. <laughs> We're just absolutely killing and trying to take over some of the religious pressure from from uh phoenicia down here that being said i do need to keep purchasing uh apostles and missionaries to move down in this direction so we just keep doing that our production is going to be recovered in our capital by working on most likely our Diplo quarter. We can get that finished in two turns, so we need to go ahead and knock that out. I probably should have built it there to get adjacency to these two things, but I wasn't thinking and we made that decision and we had to live with it now, so whatever. Uh, but yeah, I probably should have put it right there. I didn't think about it. I didn't really want to give up the three food tile, but it makes more sense. What are we going to be doing with this city? I need this city to improve. It's so bad. And I also need like our tundra cities up here to improve. They're really bad. Jakarta is a pretty good city. All things considered. So... I'm going to keep Magnus over there, and as soon as I can buy... Wow, why did you move in the water? Ah, uh, there's another... There's another missionary right here I want to take out, and just keep you alive. I don't think, well, however you pronounce this city's name, I don't think it has a holy site. So, I'm not super concerned about that. And I do need to get a guru or something I can use to heal. 
Yeah, I do need some heals down here for my apostles. So I'll be sending those down that way really soon. Our religious units are now down here in place to start taking over her cities. She is being besieged by quite a lot of barbarians. Before I start spreading my religion into her, I want to make sure that we have a friendship so that she can't get super duper angry about what I'm doing here. Do I want to use the spreads on my apostles? What are you? Yeah, I do. I definitely want to. And no, I'm sorry, you're gonna be mad at me, but we are not refusing to spread my religion to you. If I spread one more time here, that makes me the majority in that city. And that helps take care of any issues I might have with her building apostles or missionaries out of that city. And as long as I can kill any of these little missionaries she's got running around, I should be okay. This apostle right here is very important to us because it helps kill her religion out of that city. So I want it to survive. And I've only got like seven turns left in this era, so I need to make sure that I am using my time wisely to get a Golden Age. I desperately want a Golden Age here. I think I can get one with getting Maui out of this city. Missionary, where are you? So you are coming over to St. Louis. What's next? Can I kill you very easily? Yes, so just taking out even more Judaism from that city. Can't move this apostle over yet, so I just keep it, keep it safe, keep it alive, and make sure that she can't really murder it while I'm still around. Kill you. I am slowly taking care of this barb city, and we are going to reassign Magnus now finally over to Jakarta, and I'm going to reassign Moksha over to Tubin, because Tubin has way more specialty districts, which will get me more faith overall. Because Moksha gives me plus two faith for every specialty district. This only has one, so that's two, but this is two, four, six, so much better city overall for him to be in. I'm nine turns away from getting the Kotoko, uh, Kotoku in in this city. Somebody else was building that. I saw that being placed down by somebody. Where did I see that being placed down? It's Oxford. Wow, they're already... Everybody's kind of teching way past me, which makes me a little nervous. But we're not really going for a religious victory. Or, we're not... We're, we are... Bleh, I can't speak. Sorry. We are going for a religious victory, so I'm not too concerned about science. As long as I can make everybody my buddy and get the game done before they go to space. One spread into Kitty was able to knock Judaism out of it completely. So that felt really good. <laughs> they have a missionary in Inuk here. So I'm trying to keep an apostle or two around just to keep an eye out for it. So it doesn't cause me any issues. And I think... This is also a process? No, it's a translator. So we might stop by with this and spread into whatever the city is called quickly before moving forward. But I need to be targeting her holy site. And is this an aqueduct that this Tyre is her last holy site? So if I can just knock Tyre out. She has no more Judaism to spread around. Right? Is this Does this belong to Tyre? It has to, doesn't it? Yes. So 
this guy is going to be moving in this direction next. Tyre is going to be a little more difficult to knock out because it is the holy city. So I've got to be careful there. But with that, I don't think it'll be too difficult to get her completely converted over. I've almost got... I have almost got Teddy converted over. 16 cities to 25. Faith per turn. He's, he's beaten me on faith per turn. But I can get there. I can definitely get there. And I'm getting lots of money from doing this. So no, no real worries at all. Skip your turn and just hang out and watch this missionary. I am losing ground here. But once I get Tyre converted, I think I don't really have to worry about losing too much ground. There's my Golden Age secured. I didn't expect to be able to take whatever this is called in one turn, but we did. And so our pressure continues to mount over here against her. We are going to start killing that missionary and bringing our Apostle over here to hit Tyre, hit Tyre again, and Judaism is gone. She has no other way to produce it. So it's a murdered religion at this point. As long as she doesn't have any missionaries running around. She does get quite a lot of grievances against me, but as long as we're in a friendship, I don't think it's going to matter all that much and how many turns until the next era four so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move off of maui over here for three turns just to save the era score for the next turn for the next era i mean i don't want to double dip and overdo it even though this guy isn't healed, we're going to start sending him over to clear out this camp. So that my Jung has a reason for existing. <laughs> and another stupid flood. It always floods all the time right in this city. Tire is converted. That's a ton of error score I kind of wasted. But that takes care of Judaism for me. Kill off that missionary, and I'm pretty certain that that means that she has got nothing left that will stop me. I've got another missionary coming through, I've got another guru coming through, and I need to be buying more missionaries. I haven't been, that's a mistake. I can hold off, I think, on the... I can hold off on buying any... Oh, I don't have a temple? Can I purchase a temple in a couple turns? I don't have any, uh, what was it going to say? Any reasons to buy more apostles. I think having these apostles is enough for this area. And I do need to send a missionary down in this direction. A couple missionaries to clean that up. This guru is going to be used to heal up this apostle. And we take Ziz, and if I take Ziz, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's on eight, and I have four cities converted. Oh, she's getting close to a Diplo victory. She's on eight, and I have four cities converted. I should... Ah, he got Charleston back. I need to be sending apostles over in this direction. That's for certain. And you... Why don't I build... I want to keep this for... A farm triangle. And that's a hard tile to squish. Uh, it's a little difficult. This is a plus two right here. 
And that'll help that city up there. So get started on building that. And you are working your way over towards the Zs. Uh, next turn. Wow, this Apostle didn't get any good upgrades. I guess we'll go with Chaplain on it, but I would rather have had something really nice. Seven turns until that gets built. We lost our friendship with somebody, and I need to repair that. This guy is going to have an issue with these Apostles. I knew I shouldn't have wasted my faith converting him, but I wanted the the era score. I knew that stupid Philip was gonna spend his time coming through and taking taking out my religion. All of these religious units are probably going to move over into Poland next, I would say. Is what makes more sense. And then try to get them to come up through here, but I need like a steady, steady, steady stream of, uh, of missionaries to make that worth it. And missionaries are starting to get a little expensive. They're starting to add up on me. Yeah, just getting a little prohibitively expensive. Uh, what do I need from you? I need you to go up here and convert Ziz didn't work. Uh, keep moving. And you're going to move over towards this. And as far as you are concerned, what were you? A translator? Yeah, I need you over here on the front lines. This guy is just going to stay and get healed. And that's all those guys are going to be doing for a while. Ooh, I hate that I had to spend a builder charge rebuilding my industry there. I That is so obnoxiously bad. I don't want to kill this pike and shot because if I kill this pike and shot, there is a chance that something stronger is going to spawn inside the camp. And I don't want that. If I lose my musketman... That's kind of okay. I don't mind too much, but I don't. I I want to be able to clear the camp out. How much turns? Next turn should be my golden age, right? I don't want to use my last spread on this guy yet. I want to save that for whatever her holy city is. What is the holy city of Catholicism? Krakow. And I don't know where Krakow is. So we've got to explore her a little bit. So he is just going to hang out for a bit and not do much. Tyre is being converted into something else, which I don't like. Mm. So next turn, give me my Golden Age. Yes, game. I know I can move that guy. Give me my golden age. Oh, please. No. Oh, I, I don't want your gold. I kind of hate Spain, so I don't really want to be trading with them. Just out of spite. Doesn't help my game. Just makes me feel better. Get moving over in this direction. You get moving. And then give me something good. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Ouch. That was awful. Wait. I don't want to start that until next. You know what? Next turn, it rolls over, I think. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. 210 faith per turn. Feels really good, actually. And what can I build with you? Nothing much. Kimiko might be worth it. Just to get some envoys. There's other religious... There's so many religious units in the area here. Spain has gone off the rails trying to grow his religion. And... 
this builder is just going to be used for repairs. I want this... Whoa! Why am I Jewish? I'm going to send this missionary down over here to deal with these cities. You're about to go up. Pick one more turn. You know what? I could probably kill it this turn, actually. So, Kill it and hope something doesn't spawn. Looking good, our cities, so far. Here is our Industrial Era Golden Age. Is there anything I want to plug in here? Probably not. Scientific Theory is boosted. Maui is taken. That gives me some era score already. Uh, what do I want to do with him is the question. Let's transfer him over to Jakarta and just have him start making luxury resources for us. As far as these guys go, we're going to start declaring war on the Spanish religion. Get myself a guru and make a dedication. We are in a golden age. Everybody else is plummeted beneath us. And what do we want? 10% production towards industrial era and later wonders. Campus district science provides production. Trade routes is probably heartbeat of steam. This is not a good era for religious units. By this point, I think the game expects that you would have finished your religious conquests. But we're a little slow. We're a little slow. It's okay. I... What do I want to do? I kind of want to come... Down and around with this apostle. To sweep back around. Uh, Heal religious units, please. How many charges do you have? Two? Before you're useless. I don't very often play religious victories. I do play high faith games really often. But I'm never really one to do pure religion games. I still need to get some settlers out. I, I am very far behind on the settler game here. I've got three more cities to settle. I don't really want to spend the faith on that, even though the relics would be good. My faith is pretty high, and I need it focused on building things that are useful for me, so we're going to avoid that. And you're going to build me a spy. I don't have any spies. I haven't had spies for a while. I need them. It's time to get them. And I'm using my money to build up my capital, because my capital suffered so much building various things for various people i'm using my money to build it up and support it as much as i can as far as civics goes i mean we're basically done here with the civics civil engineering will be important to get to urbanization to grow bigger cities but the civics civic tree is done i'm gonna start building military units just to get my score high enough to where i'm not a a target for people but at this point the game is literally just build religious units move them around the map paint the map the color of my religion this nice pale green color here move them around paint the map the color of my religion and hope it stays that way I do need to find wherever it is that her capital city is. Ah, also, I need to be looking for her holy sites. So this city has a holy site. This city has a holy site. I don't see one here. So I've got to target these two first. I would like a better way to send missionaries down this way. So maybe... It would have been worth it to settle a city down here. It, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to constantly be moving missionaries down in this direction. I can't really start converting her until I have missionaries in place. 
That's why mosques were so useful and important for me earlier. Let's purchase a missionary from Tubin. So that it can move further this way later. There is Kotokuin. Be gentle when the heathen pray to Buddha at Kamakura. That gives me quite a lot more faith, and that gives me some warrior monks. Betwixt the stirrup and the ground. Uh, yeah, it gives me some warrior monks I can use. I mean, I'm not really super interested in having the warrior month. I was just mostly doing this in order to get the uh, faith bonus, <clears throat> but it's good to have it. Disperse you, finally. And get a couple of boosts and then back up and kill that. This missionary is heading this way. It's going to take it ages to get there, but that's where it needs to go. You are going to get a mosque, finally. And let's kill this apostle, move forward, and kill that apostle, and move in this direction. What do I want to do with you? We're gonna keep move. Ah! Aha! There is a missionary. Where did you come from? I gotta kill that thing. I can't suffer it to live. It can't be allowed to survive. And we just need to support our current apostles on the front line here in our war with Catholicism, because she's got two apostles there in these two holy site cities. And I need to keep moving in this direction so that I can start taking her out. Phoenicia is going to be pretty grievanced against us by the time our friendship runs out. But I don't care, really, so... Jambi. What do I want Jambi to be doing? 100% religious tourism. Tundra. Commercial hub. Entertainment complex might be nice. An industrial zone might be okay. Like, say, right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, that hits quite a few cities. So an industrial zone right there is pretty nice. And... From every warship and chancery building. I need to start filling these in so I can start getting more faith. Faith is our biggest bottleneck. I gotta have so much faith in order to keep attacking into these units. As far as religious conversions go, I have Phoenicia. He is going to just keep being an issue for me until I finally am able to go through and wipe his religion out. I will soon have Poland. I don't think Poland is very large, so... I, in fact, I have more science than her, so I'm pretty sure her capital is right here. And so I can just come through here and wipe her out if I had enough missionaries in the area. Speaking of missionaries, I can't buy one yet, but next turn I'll be able to buy maybe two of them. This is a plus four missionary. I want you to keep moving in this direction. One, two, three... Let's throw that down. Ah, rice! Ugh. We're just gonna fill in Maui through this area, and as soon as this is done, you're building a settler. So, after a big round of religious combat on two fronts here, I am suffering a little bit. Uh, here was lost to me, but we got it back. I was able to take out the religion in one of Poland's holy site cities. But it is taking ages 
to get any of my missionaries down in that area. The bigger problem is this choke point over here. This debater is absolutely murdering us. Uh, he is really strong. I'm unable to take him out. I'm trying to wipe out as many of these little guys as I can while I can, but there's just so much religious pressure from Eastern Orthodoxy over here in the U.S. that it's becoming impossible to, to, to fight him. We do need to use our money to start kickstarting some of these cities off. We are getting quite a bit of money a turn. It's less than it was because I did lose... I did lose uh, all of these religious cities in the, in the U.S. here. But I am picking up religious cities all across here and then over here. So it should balance out. We've got one more spread for this guy. So we're just going to move him down into Lublin here to try to take it. I would like to try to knock out the Aztec religion. He has one holy site here. And that's all and one holy site here in Azcapotzalco. So two cities is what I'm seeing that I'll have to take from him. But yeah, it's it's things are getting pretty difficult. Ah, oh, 37. Ah, 37 turns to get a settler out of this city. I need production. I need to be way more productive than I am. Uh, I don't have enough gold. Let's try to get that down. And we're gonna just keep massing units over in this area. I, I'm afraid of this area over here. I need a guru over here, but I was too late. My guru died. I need to work on trying to take out some of this religious pressure in this area. So we're just gonna skip your turn so you can defend. And hopefully we don't get just murdered. Ugh. Ugh. Absolutely wrecked. It is arguable whether the hu Absolutely wrecked by that stupid debater. Ugh, he's so... Flipping powerful. If I get a flanking bonus... Or maybe, like... If I get a flanking bonus, can I possibly do this? Ah, I lost him. And all that did was make him stronger. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. I'm still, uh, at this point, apostles are getting like prohibitively expensive. It is hard to maintain my apostle spam. That's the issue. You have to get them done early. Throw in my amphitheater. If my religious victory falls through, I need a backup victory, and I don't really have one. Except for maybe a tourism victory, but I'm not really pushing that as hard as I should be. Down here, things don't look as bad. I don't want to use his spread. And I don't really want to use his spread either. It looks like that one irritating missionary has been dealt with. So we're just going to maintain here as much as we can. Battle into you. Heal. And that's how we're going to deal with that. Keep this apostle moving in this direction because I need it more fighting Spain than I do fighting Poland. What I need fighting Poland is gurus and missionaries. So that's what we're going for here. 
265 for that guru so next turn and as far as tech goes just banking i guess we need money not much else going on other than that <sighs> he's gaining down here but there's no holy site so i don't have to worry there we go circumnavigated the globe i have been able to push in over here versus all of these apostles and i'm still not getting the good ah i'm still not getting the good uh upgrades on my units over here but i'm slowly but surely taking back over this area this guy on the other hand has been quite the pain not taking him over as well as I would like are these religious units do these count as religious units uh, move you forward and start taking out that apostle because Krakow is right here and that's her last religious city as far as I know I'm hoping that's her last religious city, so we need to take that out fast. Instead of buying the mosque, I'm going to be building the mosque in this city. I can't afford to buy it. It's a bit too expensive right now. My apostles are up to like 400 faith to purchase, so I just need to keep that in the bank. There are still quite a lot of sieves I need to work on converting over, so... I have to be careful. I can't just waste all of my stuff. As far as Phoenicia is concerned, she is not an issue. Keep my missionaries moving forward here. Wow, there's a barb spawn there. These missionaries also just keep moving. Ah! Ah! Spain! So our first World Congress after the Industrial Era is here. We've got the Nobel Prize in Physics. I want to vote for myself to get the faster population growth. And I'm just voting for engineers because I think I'm the only one with uh, industrial zones, really. Down here, scientists, guitarja. Well, I'm not making any scientists, so I'm not going to get any of that. Completely foolproof don't really want to change my government currently i like what i've got going for me so not too worried about that but whoops wrong button but however i am super concerned on taking out this if i can kill this without i can't risk losing this guy he is my is this the holy city it is right so we're going to hit that he's gone but i should be able to fight this next turn and i have missionaries coming through behind take that out i can't can't beat that i'll lose i'll lose to that guy i need a guru down here to save me all of these stupid apostle spam from from spain is crazy and with that i think i'm going to call this the end of the episode after we faced spain down for like a thousand years in theological combat we are still not 100% assured our religious victory. He is producing apostles out at an alarming rate, faster than I can really battle them. Maybe I shouldn't be battling them. Maybe I should be focusing on flipping cities as fast as I can and just assuming that he doesn't have enough to spread. If I look at his empire... I'm not seeing super uh, a whole lot of holy sites. We've got one, 
two, three. There's only three holy sites here, so if I can move through, through this area to get over to him, I think we could take his religion or his holy sites out. It's just he's got so many cities over here. The pressure, the pressure would be ridiculous. I guess we start sending apostles across the ocean this way. I was hoping to go through the United States to get to him, but I don't think I'll be able to. But yes, with that, that's the end of this episode. If you liked this, please leave me a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to leave a dislike. As always, this has been STG Sheep, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.